Okay, so today I want to do something that I don't typically do. And by typically, I mean not in those two months that I have been on booktube. So it's, it hasn't been like a really long time. Um, but I'm doing a TBR, so yay! <laughs> So today I was watching a video by Bruce and Reviews on her channel, um, which was about her TBR for March. And she mentioned a Battle of the Books bracket tournament. And I was like, ooh, that sounds interesting. So I watched the video and then I watched the original video by the Church Science Alliance. So she kind of created this uh, readathon. And it's about, like I said, it's a tournament. So you pit books against each other and have them advance to the next round and have them fight. So not literally. So you just read the books and decide which one is better. <laughs> so I uh, thought it sounded cool and I decided I want to do this. So um, I will be entering the tournament and I decided to go for the four books bracket. So we just have two semi-finals and then the final um, because I think uh, March will be quite a busy month for me, so I still have some papers and essays and stuff to write for, for university, so I don't think I will be able to reach, read as much as I would like to, and I'm also currently still reading four other books, so I can only start on this uh, kind of challenge when I'm done with at least one of them. So um, yeah, but anyways, let's get, into, let's get into the books. So the first fight of this tournament will be between Woven and Moonlight, which is a fantasy novel, I think, inspired by South American culture. And um, I have, so all these books have been in uh, one of my past videos when I was reading the first paragraph, so I think I've sh held them up before. So yeah, um, I'm really excited for this book. It sounds really interesting. And now that I've just recently read uh, Civilizations by Laurent Binet, um, which has also been about South American culture, I'm even more hyped because I want more of this uh, setting. So yeah, looking forward to this one. And um, so in the first round, it's going up against Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim, um, which is also a fantasy novel inspired by Eastern Asian, I think, um, precisely Chinese culture, and it's about suing. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I don't really know much about the story of this one, so I can't go into any details, but Spin the Dawn is about a girl who probably has a name, and she wants to <coughs> enter, I think, this tournament for who gets to sue the emperor's new clothes or something. And so, yeah, this sounds quite interesting, and um, I've heard that um, the story kind of takes a back seat for the romance, which is not what I tend to enjoy. So when I have to make a prediction for which book will come out on top, I think I will go with Woven and Moonlight. So my prediction is that Woven and Moonlight will advance to the final round um, and that Spin the Dawn will have to leave this tournament. But you'll never know. So yeah, this is the first fight of the tournament. And the second one will be between Ruin Song, which is a sapphic romance fantasy set in France, maybe? I think in the first paragraph that I read for this book, there was something um, with France in it, or Marseille, or I don't know, as you just met him. I don't know, where did it take? I don't know why I think this is taking so place in France. It's just, I don't know. But anyways, I'm excited for this. So it, I, I kind of picked it up because of the cover. I really like this cover. Um, it's really pretty. Um, I think there's nothing, no, there's nothing here. So, but yeah, we have those two girls. So I'm excited for their relationship, I guess. And I hope that this book is good. <laughs> Okay, and so Ruin Song will be going up against Descendant of the Crane in the first round. Um, I know nothing about this book, only that there is a king who likes to wear commoner clothes and pretend to be a commoner, which is in the first paragraph, <laughs> which I've read. So, uh, but yeah, I don't want to know anything about it. I want to go into this uh, book blind. And um, so I predict that Descendant of the Crane will 
win this first round. I don't know why, it's just kind of the feeling that I have. Um, but honestly, I don't know anything about both of these books and I could be totally wrong. Um, but yeah, so my prediction is that these two books will have to battle it out in the final and I think that Woven and Moonlight will win just because right now I'm in the mood for um, South American inspired fantasy books. Which is a weird thing to say because I don't think I have ever read a South American inspired fantasy book. But yeah, I'm in the mood for this. So I think this one will be the book I start this challenge with. Um, so uh, yeah, but still I will try to go into this as unbiased as possible. And I think I will um, just film a short video when I'm done with one of those fights and tell you who won the first round and then um, the, the so who advances to the final and then who wins this final battle of those four books. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this kind of TBR that I'm doing. I just, I decided to pick out four YA books because they are shorter and I think I will get through these books faster than I would through uh, like Wheel of Time or something. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I think I will start this challenge soon when I'm done with one other book that I'm still reading. So yeah, that's it for today. And I hope you have a fabulous week. The weather is great, at least where I am. It's sunny. And so um, yeah, maybe I'll go outside. So bye.